There are two methods for placing devices on the project drawing background. Method number one is to find the symbol for the device on the device palette tab of the FireCAD palette. Then place it on the drawing's model space. First, we'll show you how to place the fire alarm control panel at its intended location from the device palette. Although it is optional, it is important to give the fire alarm control panel a device name. The dialog which prompts you to provide that device name is automatically presented. Please type the device name that you wish to use for the panel in the cell to the right of the device name text on the first row. Then click the Apply button. Method number two is to use the Replace Selection with Device command. You will find this command on the Devices panel of the FireCAD Tools ribbon. Before using this tool, you must have an object that can be selected. Any single object you can select can be replaced with a FireCAD recognizable device. If you are working with a drawing where blocks or text have been placed to represent locations of smoke detectors or notification appliances, you can replace those objects using this method. In this case, we're going to first replace the generic smoke detector blocks on this drawing. Start by selecting one of them and then using the Select Similar command to include all in the selection set. Next, choose the Replace Selection with Device command. This is an example of the filtering and sorting and searching capabilities of FireCAD, which is present in several interfaces. In this case, we can use the filtering on the Block Definition column by clicking the funnel at the top right. By choosing the NFPA 170 Smoke Detector checkbox, we can filter out everything except what we're looking for. When we go to the right, we check the box to filter out everything except the manufacturer firelight. Since we know that the part number we're looking for starts with SD365, we can type that in the full text search box at the top. This gives us a listing of all firelight smoke detectors, starting with that combination of letters and numbers. You will notice there are more than one detector using that number. That's because FireCAD pairs detectors and bases in their various combinations in order to facilitate the connection to circuits when it's required, such as the case of an SLC detector on a sounder base. Selecting the desired detector and base combination, then clicking the Apply button in the bottom right-hand corner will execute the command and replace all of the selected devices with FireCAD recognizable smoke detectors. Since FireCAD recognized devices are ordinary AutoCAD blocks, they can be copied and otherwise manipulated using ordinary AutoCAD commands. In this case, we need a smoke detector in front of the control panel, so we simply copy one that we already placed on the drawing. Now we must validate the copied smoke detector. Next in this project, we'll need to select the generic horn strobe symbols on the background, then once again select similar and replace these with FireCAD recognizable devices. In this case, we know the part number is going to be P2 RLED. We simply type P2 RLED in the full text search box to find it. Then select that row and click the apply button. The command has successfully replaced the generic blocks with FireCAD recognizable horn strobe devices. Notice, however, that they are a blue color and a little difficult to see on the black background. Here is a method to change their color. All FireCAD devices are set to display their color by layer. After selecting only one of the horn strobes, we then select the home ribbon. This gives us the opportunity to change the color of the horn strobe layer to a bright green. Let's check the candela settings of some of the horn strobes. To do that, we select just the two shown here. We then must get access to the required command by selecting the FireCAD Tools ribbon above the model space area. Using the Show Coverage Display command on the circuits panel of the ribbon, we check to see if the default 15 candela settings provide adequate coverage. We see that they do not. In order to change the candela setting, we can use the same panel on the FireCAD Tools ribbon to set device circuits. Make certain the devices remain selected then change them, as shown here, to 75 candela. The coverage display updates automatically. Now we can hide the coverage display as shown here. 
It is a good habit to remember to use the escape key to deselect devices or other AutoCAD objects after executing a command. It also is good to use the save command frequently. Saving as shown above also saves the changes in the ATP file. By typing into the full text search box on the device tab of the FireCAD palette, we can find a generic junction box. We will place one of these on each level of the building in the corner of the electric room. By setting our AutoCAD snap setting to on, we can locate the symbol precisely. Anytime you see the not validated reminder on a FireCAD object, please remember to use the validate devices command to resolve it. 